Hey, what's going on guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automatically resize button with the PyQt file library. In general, when you uh, create a button uh, with the PyQt file library, so here let me launch my script real quick. So here I have a, a, a Python script called buttons.py. In general, when you uh, create buttons uh, with the push button widgets, and if you resize the form, and you'll notice that uh, by default, the button does not resize by itself. And let me close this uh, form. And here I have another uh, Python script. And this is what the output is going to look like. So uh, the script is called resizeButton.py. So with this one, uh, when we expand the form, so if I increase the form, and you will notice that the button will uh, expand by itself based on the uh, the ratio of the this uh, Python form, and that's what we'll be doing uh, in this exercise. So right here, I have a, a blank Python script uh, created, and the script name is uh, demo.py. And let's go ahead and import the system module. So here, from the uh, pyqt5, oops. PyQt5 dot Qt widgets module. And I'm going to import the Q widgets class, and should as well as the uh, the Q grid layout class. And also need a push button. And this is a class called Q size policy. And this class basically uh, will gives you the option to configure different settings uh, that will apply to different widgets. And lastly, we need the application class. So here, uh, let's go ahead and create the main module. And so I'm going to uh, construct my application uh, instance. Okay, so here I'm going to create my uh, widget class. So I'm going to call this uh, class grid uh, demo. And inside that, I'm going to uh, provide the key widget class as the parent class. And here I'm going to uh, provide some values. So here I need a list. So here let me grab the list and just copy paste over. So the list is pretty simple. Here we have three by three grid, so from one to nine. And next I'm going to create a list of uh, tuples that will store the X and Y coordinates. So I'm going to call this uh, variable positions. And we have a list. And so here for uh, row, so R stands for row, for row in range. And since this is a three by three grid, and so I'm going to provide, uh, so from range zero to two, so and with the uh, array base starting from zero, and so as for uh, C, so C stands for column in range uh, three, so zero to two, and with the array base starting from uh, zero, and we want to uh, create our coordinates so inside a tuple. And so here's the row coordinates and uh, column coordinate. So here's my layout. And so here I'm going to set the layout, providing the layout uh, variable. And let's just run the script to see uh, what the, the form looks like. Uh, inconsistent space and tab. Now I fix all the indents and spaces. And let's just run the main program real quick. So here's our user form, and there's nothing there yet. So okay, and now let's continue. 
So here four positions and value. I'm going to zip these two uh, variables together. And I'll also print the corner value as well. So here I'll um, construct my button uh, variable and we'll provide the value as the text. So here if you want to automatically resize the button when you expand uh, the form from the button variable and there's a method called set size policy. And here from the Q size policy class, we want to provide the expand expanding uh, property. And when you insert uh, this line right here, and that's basically telling PyQt5 that I want to automatically resize the button when I readjust the form size. And lastly, from the layout grid variable and want to add the widget. So want to add the button and as well as the position. So it should be positions. Now if I run the script and here so uh, it prints out the, the corner. So for one is uh, first row, first column and for the verb two will be uh, the first row and uh, second column and so on. So here let me expand the form. So here you can see that when I increase the size of the form, the buttons also automatically uh, resize by itself as well. And if you want to turn that uh, feature off, close the form, basically just come out this line right here. Oops. And if I run the script again, and this time if I uh, resize the form, you will see that the button size uh, stay the same regardless if I decrease or increase the, the form size. And I hope this video helps. And if it does, uh, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.